hey what's up YouTube coming to you with an unboxing video for the WP H10 Dyker Pack underwater waterproof housing um, it's not just made for any specific camera even though on the back they do tell you or I think it's on the side it does tell you a list of the compatibilities hopefully my camera is in focus here and you can see on there that you know if you have an Olympus, um, it gives you some of the series Nikon P80, your Fuji, the Kodak, the Canon, the Sony. It doesn't list on here the Sony NEX 5N, probably because these were produced a long time before the ends were out. But they do house and fit it. I've done my research. I wasn't sure on which because they do have the double 610 as well that also fits, but it's a tighter squeeze. Um, for the Sony NEX 5, the 3, the 5N, um, those type of series and I currently have the 5N which I'm currently shooting this video on. So I'll be going on holiday, I want to take it underwater, take it um, to the, the Dunn River Falls with me and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I don't want to get my camera wet at all and it would be good to have a cheap housing because I do have housing that are proper proper for them but of course you're paying at least a thousand um us dollars just to get one but this is the cheaper alternative it does the job and i went with this so i want to be unboxing this because i've seen some videos on it showing it in the water but i've never seen an actual unboxing so hopefully this helps somebody else so as you can see from the package here what the package includes you can see that there um, it includes a waterproof case, an extra printed instruction, and you have an extension connector. Trust me, that extension connector is going to come in really handy, especially if you want to get a zoom um, as well. It is good for the 5 in because it can fit the 18 to 55 millimeter lens and it works also without the extension for the 16 mm lens anything above that 18 to 55 it's not going to be ideal for it you might have to get a different um diker pack or perhaps if they have extensions larger than the one that they include in this one then that might help don't have to set the um, extension separately i would have to investigate that one as you can see here that as i had proven that point before it does say zoom available um, it's UV coated up to 10 meters, um, waterproof. Um, it's a patented product as well. So you can see on the side here, it does kind of introduce some of the stuff that you perhaps might be doing um, that you know you will fit the purpose of this. So if you're in the water, um, you know, just perhaps in a pool, or if you're really going deep sea diving and want to take photos or videos. Um, you know here you have somebody kayaking surfing you know all of these other things so that's the side there that's the top where it just has that little handle um that's the back can shoot on the water you can see that there and of course i've shown it this side so i'm going to be just opening this up so you open it up from the bottom so that you can open this part pull this part down and of course you're just sliding this out this way Right, and that's the packaging there. Put that aside, that's the inside. So this is the actual case you have on the back. It shows you the strap on the inside there. This is just some foam. Um, instruction manual is in there, and of course the extension cap. Opening this up, it's not too hard. I don't need a scissors or anything like that. It's just a matter of opening this part here. So opening this reveals the manual, which is in English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Russian, and Japanese, or is it that Chinese? Um, you have some instructions around here. Um, apparently the sponges are not just there for holding anything, they are actually supposed to be used, if you can see on the diagram part two there I can see them inserting those punch I would assume that they're acting as a flotation device I, I would have to read them to get further let me see I don't want to go into the manual too much because I know this is the part that everybody hates um, but obviously you probably are going to want to read the manual simply because you're going to be having a very cheap plastic case hosing and trying to protect your very expensive camera on the inside this is just warranty um 
just something else letting you know that's a waterproof um candy that some persons would call it do not eat though um, these are the foam sponges that, that I'm assuming are for flotation so that uh, in the event that the camera slips away from your hand it doesn't sink. You get two of those in there. Alright. Um, this is the strap. Right. Not the biggest. It's retracted. You're able to put it on and take it off the camera. I would recommend having it on. Uh, this is the extension cap. This is a really thick piece of plastic here. Right. And that's that there. Put it on the side. And here's the actual die pack. So that's the last thing to come out of the case. And I'll give you a close-up of that. So, as you can see it here, it has that lens. Right. Um, that's it. Without the extension. As you can see there right so that looks like the, the, the length of an 18 to 55 and it will fit um, the lenses if not all the lenses in terms of width on this but not by length you know once you start zooming in or if you have a zoom lens um, and that's the bag itself right if anybody knows how Barbie dolls smell when you take them out the plastic it has a very plasticky smell yeah, that's what it smells like. And of course it says Dica pack here. Right? It has this part is almost like a purplish, grayish, brownish, I don't know. And it says right on here WPH10 waterproof case. So it's a relatively thick plastic. Of course, you have to take care that you don't allow anything to pierce it or anything like that because of course that would ruin you know the waterproofness of it so how you get your camera in here I'm not going to be able to demonstrate putting the camera in simply because I am already using the camera so you open this part here right then you have another seal part again velcro right you open that part you unroll here right and just like a ziplock bag this part is kind of ziplocked I'm going to separate this part and that is how you would place the camera in right so that's that there you put the camera in you're going to be wanting to put the camera part that you're going to the longer part of the it the sony nex5 into this side because you don't have much length over here so you can't turn the body part here you have to put the body part here and it's going to be and it kind of be upside down so that's just how it fits um, I'm going to demonstrate for you the, with the extension. So I'm going to scroll off this part here. And of course, just take care not to try and rip the plastic or anything. So I take that part here off here. I'm going to be screwing on this part. Make sure when you're screwing it on, if you're going to be going directly in the water now, you want to make sure that it's proper tight. Right, and then you're going to be screwing on this part so you know you can see the extension and that you're getting the opportunity to really zoom um, once you might have to say once you zoom once you zoom in um, you're zoomed in but you have to kind of zoom in while well before you seal up everything because it's very hard to really maneuver and do a lot of things through this plastic because you don't have any openings you don't have anywhere where you know you can proper zoom the thing from or so on or you can put your hand in the bag so everything has to be done and adjusted before you know you get into the water and everything which is understandable that's just common sense right so once you have put your camera in assuming that you know what it's in you want to try to make sure that you seal back this part properly just like you with a ziplock bag you want to make sure it's sealed make sure you line everything up make sure you feel things snapping into place and that's sealed then you're going to want to roll it it's already grooved in so you don't have to be worrying how to get the, the rolling part fitted. Then you start to measure it back up with the velcro. Once you're satisfied with that, then you're going to seal this over. 
and that's you that's it and the camera would be in there like so obviously as I said before it's gonna have to be that way you know and you're in the water you're looking at the fish you're doing that you're in the pool blah 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 you're snapping your photos obviously once it's in there I would have to demonstrate once it's in there um, which I'll do I'll definitely do in another video and I'll, you'll have to wait until I come back from holidays to really see the photos and how it really performed um, hopefully it does perform very well because I'm kind of depending on this not to get my camera wet uh, but it serves other purposes not just for mortars from sand um, you know and all of these things so um, the, the strap would go on here so it would clip into these parts and of course I would have to go through the manual to really see where in the bag or if you just leave this anywhere because obviously you don't want it blocking your camera so I don't know exactly where you're going to take these and put it but I've gone far into my video again just a reminder that's the video for the die capat the WPH10 and it will fit definitely will fit your Sony NEX 5, 5 and 3 if those are the cameras that you do have thank you very much for watching this video I do ask kindly for anyone that has watched if they really like it give a thumbs up um, rate it subscribe to it uh, leave a comment I always try and get to my comments and it, it really is hard making these videos to edit them and then because so it's a lot of work so you know if you see some effort hey why not big it up right so thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the rest of my videos as well peace